Hi everybody, my name is Macy, and today I'm going to be reading If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. But before I start, I just want to make sure that everyone is having a great time, staying home. It stinks that we can't be at school with all of our friends and amazing teachers, but we are home with our family, so let's take, let's, you know, be grateful for that. So back here, on my chalkboard back here, I have, it might be flipped backwards a little bit, but I have, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. And I have a, a, a sunflower and a sunflower plant here too, but, because I, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and spending a lot of time with your family and friends. So, I'm going to be reading If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, because we all love cookies and it's a great time to bake, maybe, with friends and family that are home with you. It's an amazing time to do cookie. Anything like that, if that's what you guys enjoy doing. Okay? So, here we go. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. Make sure you guys can see. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. There he is, by the glass of milk. Then he'll look in the mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. There he is, looking in the mirror. When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably get a pair of nail scissors to cut his hair. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Maybe that's what we can do, right? We can help our parents clean up the room, our houses, and sweep. He may even end up washing the floors as well. There he is, washing the floors. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself super comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. There he is, fluffing the pillow. So you'll read him, so you'll read to him from one of your books. And he'll ask you to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. We can do a lot of drawing too during this time, right? Draw and color. He'll draw a picture. And there he is, drawing his picture. When the picture is finished, there's the picture, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. There he is. Then he'll want to hang his picture on the refrigerator, which means he'll need, let's see, scotch tape. He'll hang up his his drawing and stand back and look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that he's thirsty, super thirsty. So, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. And there he is. The end. That's the end of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. This is a super, um, uh, this is a book that a lot of people read. So you guys may have already heard it, but it's a good book. 
So what I'm going to do is leave a, um, a recipe of my grandma's homemade cookies, chocolate chip cookies. They are so good. And I, what I encourage you all to do is to take that or one of your own that you guys have and make some cookies with your family. I think it is a great opportunity for everybody to, you know, when everyone's at home, to take time to spend with their family and maybe even bake. And when you bake your cookies, you can also have a glass of milk. So I want to thank you guys all for listening to my story, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I, and I hope you guys make amazing, super duper, scrumptious cookies with your family, and I hope they love it. So thank you guys so much, and I hope everyone stays safe and healthy and have fun. Thank you guys. Bye.